Welcome. These are my African violets. Some of my African violets are put here on this um, shelf. African violets that I have that are in bloom right now or that bloomed and have the remains of the flowers just like in case of the one here at the back. There is one that has just remains of a flower. Okay. And and they all are so beautiful. Some of them were bought at a grocery store, at a floral department, floral section of a grocery store. Some of them are quite actually have a pedigree. This one, for example, is called L.E. Carousel. And I bought it as a leaf at the beginning of the pandemic when the lockdown was really, really brutal and everything was closed, there was a lady who was selling leaves of uh, African violets and I took advantage of it and I'm so happy with it. And here is another grocery store find. And this one is bought as a leaf um, a little bit later than the first one. Also very beautiful, unfortunately I lost the tags and I forgot what the what the name is. Uh, look at this one, how beautiful this one is. And here is another one. This one is a grocery store find. Let me zoom it a little bit. No, I can't zoom it anymore. Okay, but these African violets are all very pretty. They are all absolutely beautiful, each of them in its own way. Uh, this one is absolutely amazing. This one is amazing. It has a name, but again, it has a name which I'm not, which I don't know what is what its name is, but it, it is a, it is a, fancy variety that I, again, I lost the tag with all the names. Anyways, African violets, I love them. <laughs> I just love them. And uh, up until quite recently, well, quite recently in my uh, time scale, I didn't really uh, consider African violets plants that were worth keeping. I thought they were just plain plants that easy to obtain, easy to take care of, and not worthy having in my uh, collection of plants. I thought of them as just space takers. I thought I didn't have enough space to keep them. And then things have changed. I discovered the beauty of them. They are so cool. They are so fun to have. They are so easy to uh, propagate. You just break off a leaf, put it in a put it in a, a glass of water and then the roots appear and then tiny little plants appear from that little leaf you plant it and then you have African an African violet. They bloom quite easily but they need to have a period of rest before one bloom and the other. So for the majority of the year they are just um, uh, flowerless. They have just leaves and some of those leaves are quite interesting. Some of them are, are variegated, some of them are curly. So even if they are not in bloom they look very interesting as well. The other thing about African violets is that um, according to the rules, according to the books, they should be flat and the rosette that is uh, that the leaves are forming should be absolutely perfect. The leaves should be growing sideways and not up and there should be only one plant per pot. And not always I am following this rule. I am trying, but look at this one. It's such a beautiful plant and yet there are at least six or seven plants in this pot and because there are so many plants it, in, it is in a constant bloom. Some of them, however, I managed to 
to keep as one plant per pot, but they might grow up as well if the amount of light is not sufficient. So they are not perfect here. They are not growing as they should if they were show plants, but they are beautiful anyways and I love them. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you like my African violets as, as much as I do. Have an amazing afternoon.